Guys, quickly want to interrupt the video before it starts here. I'm going to be speaking at a new DJ conference hosted by DJ NTV in February of 2020 in Las Vegas. If you guys want more details on that, I'm going to be explaining it at the end of the video as well as how two of you can win free passes to the show. Stay tuned toward the end. Now let's get into the gig log. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're in for another weekend. We got double weddings so. here with Fusion Sound Lighting. I'm pale well i think this is white shirt but i'm pale as shit. we are in the garage loading up kaylin's loading up his gear into his vehicle i'm putting my stuff on my car so that way when we bring the trailer over just load up everything into the trailer my wedding is going to be at the botanical gardens in kernersville i'm doing basic djing ceremony audio up lighting monogram kaylin is going to be at friends farm um you guys have seen plenty of events out there Go check out his channel. He's actually doing videos again, uh, but he's going to be doing DJ ceremony and uh, monogram there as well. So we're loading up all the gear, and uh, we're gonna get rolling. Gear updates. New segment because we I get new gear like literally every week. Most of this gear is for a ginormous homecoming that we're doing on October 5th. So uh, I needed a lot more gear than what I own, and I'd rather just buy it than rent it because of things. So, first off, donor Wireless DMX picked up another five pack of those. So, I got 10 of those receivers now and two transmitters. Rubber mats to stand on. Shout out Nick Spinelli. Although Kalen doesn't even like them. Kalen hates them. Two more Rockville uh, totems that I haven't even unboxed. They're just still in the boxes, but they're the Rockville collapsible totem. We're doing two monograms today, so we have a second gravity stand here for the other monogram. I have an SKB case here for the second uh, projector, which you might be asking, where is the projector? It is not in the case. Um, the projector came defective. Ordered off Amazon. It was $800 and um, doesn't work. Luckily, Nate, who's going to be coming and helping me uh, do the event this evening, happens to own a projector, so we're good there. So I kind of wanted to show you guys, this is what I do now that I bring my trailer to pretty much all my events. I go through with my carts, and eventually I'll have road cases as well, but I go through with my carts, and I load up my carts with all of my gear, the way it kind of like fits on there best. That way all I'm doing, when I bring my trailer over, is just roll it up into the trailer, use the ratchet straps to strap everything down to the sides, then when we get there, unratchet strap it, roll it right out into the event. And then we do the same thing at night. So it makes load ins and load outs super easy because you don't have to stack anything up on carts. Everything's on the cart. All you do is roll the cart in and out and then you unload it and load it back up when you get inside the venue. That's something I've started to do is kind of stage out my gear before I load it into the trailer. And maybe that's a helpful tip for you guys too. All right, so fast forward, I didn't show you guys loading up the trailer. I'll show you guys the trailer loaded up here in a second when we walk back downstairs. But um, I was uh, packing up all my bags and I was like, you know, it might be a good idea to show the process I go through in terms of packing all my bags. All my bags are packed, but I just want to show you guys. I have a three bag system. Three bags plus clothes and that's it. So, first off, we got the two jetpack bags right here. The black one and the custom one right there. And we have the cooler. The cooler contains all the drinks. Water, Gatorade, and Bang. So that you have hydration, energy, all that in one cooler for both me and the roadie. Second bag, the DJ Rick Webb bag. This is the DJ bag. It has all my laptops, my headphones. I got a whole video on what all I bring in this, but this has all the essentials that I need for DJing right here. Second jetpack bag. This is my clothes and my snacks. So I got some snacks in there. I got like my watch, my hair gel, uh, my shoes fit right in here. We got my shoes in there. And then the main pouch here, I got some cables right here just because it's extra stuff. I got extra clothes, my pants, and then this bag right here is all of my camera gear for filming these videos. Additional to the camera gear, I got the tripod. It really doesn't fit in any bag. That's the extendable tripod that gets you guys those high shots of the dance floor. And then we have the outfit right here. So we got the sports coat and the shirt that I'm gonna be wearing this evening. So uh, that's just a little look at the kind of the personal bags that I pack up before every gig. I know that basically when I go to leave, if I have all three of these bags and my clothes, I'm set and ready to go. And it's a good idea guys to get in some sort of routine for all your gigs in terms of, I know I need to pack this bag, this bag, this bag, my fit, and I'm ready to go. Same thing with your gear downstairs. I kind of just mentally go through it in my head I'm like, do I have my mixing console? Do I have my laptop? Do I have the cable to go from my laptop to my mixer? Do I have my speakers? Do I have the table, et cetera. You guys get the idea. And now that I'm bringing on other DJs, like I got Kayla now, I got Mario now, and we got a bunch of network of roadies right now. 
um, that we're also getting. I'm going to get into making like a checklist for them. So this is nothing new or revolutionary or something like that, but uh, I just think it's a good idea for all my DJs to have a checklist so that they go through everything and uh, they're not relying on me or someone else to basically be like, yo, you forgot this. I, I just want to have like a list that basically guarantees them that they cross off everything on that list. They'll at least be able to do the event. So business owner thoughts. Yeah, you enjoy it? All right, let's go downstairs. All right, so here we got the beast hooked up with the 12 by six trailer. Inside, if you guys are familiar with the events I do, this looks like not much. So you got my SC coffin here on the ground. You got the two carts right here loaded up with all the gear. We're doing up lighting. I mentioned all the stuff we're doing. So you got this one, spare cables in there, and the subs. And that's pretty much it. But like I said, everything's on carts. It makes things a thousand times. If you guys are considering buying a trailer, let me tell you right now, my experience of owning a trailer now for about a year now, 250% thumbs up like if you if you have the ability to use a trailer and use a trailer um it just makes life so much easier what's up guys we are at the botanical gardens here in kernersville so i'm going to now go inside and get all that set or figure out the venue situation all that fun stuff everyone meet nate what's up guys nate was actually a subscriber one of the first one of the first there you go so we're uh, unstrapping everything just roll everything in and here you go So up here, up here is where they're going to do ceremony, or cocktail, and down here is where we're going to do the ceremony. Pretty much have everything set up at the reception right now. Kind of like fine tune everything, get the up lighting set up. Monogram, they actually have a projector here, so we're going to try and hook into that instead. So as I mentioned, down here is the ceremony. Beautiful location, beautiful. As Barra would say, it is very nice. Here's where the ceremony is going to happen, all this. We are actually set up over here. So no, we are not using the battery powered rig. Caitlin actually has the battery powered rig. I just got stuff to build the second one. But this is the powered rig, power conditioner, two Audio Technica 3000 fourth gen Audio Technica uh, MG12. Main reason we kind of need the MG12 is because we're going to be running an aux feed for the videographers. Then we're running an XLR cable over to the LD Systems Maui 5 Go, which we will unplug and then take up and do cocktail right after it. It's running on battery. I don't need to plug it in. It gets like eight hours of battery. It's fine. But yeah, that's all. This is the, the power rig basically. So inside here we got the mics. We got the batteries. This is where the lapels go. Super clean. Here's my uh, feed to plug in my laptop. Power runs from back there over to here clean simple now up to the we're gonna go back up to the stairs and make sure our reception setup's all clean take everything else out to the trailer and put the trailer across the street boom we are all set up both at ceremony and at the reception area um, I'll take you guys through reception later on during cocktail hour because cocktail hour is gonna happen out on the patio um, so we'll go through that later we'll go down and go through ceremony here in a second when I get changed. So that's next on the list, get changed up. Um, sorry I haven't like notified you guys of what we're doing, but everything is as of now set up and ready to rock and roll. We're gonna turn off all the elements here in like two seconds just because they're, they're battery powered. We need battery. Standard wedding rush, we are pushing through. We have like 10 minutes, or less than 10 minutes for me to go through all that we're gonna be using at the uh, reception right now. Right now we're doing cocktail. We got the LD Systems Maui 5 Go out on the patio, running all those stuff wireless over to it. So uh, let's quickly go through this. The element hexes are off right now, but there's 12 element hexes around the room, as well as some mega hex pars plugged into the wall. We are doing the ADJ event table too, my SZ case custom, Chavez Show Express, Audio Technica mics behind, uh, Serato, all that fun stuff. JBL PRX7 15X left, JBL PRX7 12 for our tops and our subs, custom monogram. But anyways, I'm gonna be coordinating with everyone and getting everyone going here in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a fake exit out front and then we're gonna bring everyone in. First up, make some noise for Kenzie, Trey, and Josh. All right, next up we got Salvador and Abby. Give it up, give it up, keep them hands going for Brett and Brooke! <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Next up we have Tyler and Tina. Next group up, 
up here, I know they're excited. I know they're ready to party tonight. Give it up for Cody and Taylor. Okay, going next up, we have Jake and Daryl. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I need you all to rise from your seats if you can. I need you to get loud. I need you to scream. I need you to shout. Put your hands together. And it is my honor to introduce you the second time tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Shaw.
friends, it is time for the last dance of the night. If I can ask for everyone to please gather around, Brittany and Tyler here, they have chosen their last song to be carried away by George Strait. It's the last dance for Brittany and Tyler's wedding reception. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Let's finish it off. Can I get two claps and a Rick Flair? And it is time for that fun part of the night. We're tearing down. I don't have the shirt, but we we hate tear down. I will be back with you guys, and when I get back with you guys, all of this uh, all of this will be torn down. So, and that's it. We're out of here. Peace. What's up everyone out here next morning, Sunday morning, I unloaded the trailer, getting everything loaded back into the garage and then unhooking my trailer and then I'm heading off to the first of three meetings today on Sunday because um, running your own business, you got a lot of meetings. Anyways, um, wanted to wrap up my thoughts on the event. That event was absolutely crazy, bonkers, like it, w it was awesome and I got to try out a lot of interesting mixes that I haven't done before and uh, just an awesome crowd uh, just you can't be a crowd like that especially the wedding party was just awesome but landed on the vendor referral list for that venue as well as got some good contacts with the videographer and the photographer from that event so um, it's a good move for us hey Kaylin did, did you do a good wedding I killed it okay no I ain't gonna come cocky like that my <laughs> wedding was pretty good it was pretty fun Guys, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, new DJ convention. This is not Mobile Beat. This is not DJ Expo. This is brand new. And if you guys don't know already, DJ NTV, Disc Jockey News, John Young, the owner, the creator, is bringing the, his, his first ever show, his first ever convention, and it's going to be co-located with Photo booth expo in las vegas in february of 2020 not only am i going to be speaking at this show but we have a stacked lineup you got my boy eric from dow oaks the guy that you guys saw in the video that does 300 plus weddings a year with his company you got nick spinelli you got brian s red you got ben stowe you got the one and only dj woo pig jason clock jordan marshall Michael Joseph, you got a lot of people. Brandon Stewart, you got a lot of people on this list. This is a stacked lineup, guys. I I'm super excited. If, if I wasn't even speaking at this show, I would go to the show just for the names that are on here. These guys know a lot about our mobile DJ industry. And uh, just overall, guys, if you don't know anything about DJ and TV, if you guys haven't checked them out, their YouTube's linked below. But these guys, John Young, this whole entire thing that he's created is all about education. It's all about content. If you guys don't know, my channel is heavily revolved around education and content. So I'm super thrilled to be on the list of people that's going to be speaking there. And the main reason I want to push out this little video uh, advertisement for you guys is to explain to you guys that tickets are heavily discounted right now. Before November 1st, November 1st is when tickets are going to jump in price. You go use the link in the description down below. Use my promo code DJ Rick Webb DJ NTV Show 2020. That'll save you on your tickets, guys. Like I said, guys, this is this convention is super going to be super heavily educated content. All these guys, I know a lot of these guys in this industry. I've learned a lot from these guys in the personal world just talking to them. They're gonna have a lot of good, these seminars are gonna be no bullshit, some of the best seminars you probably could ever go to. And hopefully mine's like oh, kind of okay. But beyond that, we're also gonna be giving away two free exhibit hall passes valued at $50 a piece. You can use that for the free exhibit hall pass or you can put that $50 towards a full pass. It's up to you guys. 
But if you guys want to know the details on how you can win those tickets, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram right here. I'm going to be posting a photo as well as posting on my story multiple times about how you guys can win. We're going to be drawing those tickets after November 1st. November 1st is going to be the cutoff for however we decide to do the giveaway. But all you guys need to do is follow me on Instagram um, and I will explain all the details on how you guys can win the tickets there. But anyways, guys, February 2020, Las Vegas. I'm going to be there. Are you going to be there? It's going to be awesome. DJ and TV. Lots of other bros are going to be there. It's going to be a great time. I highly recommend you guys mark your calendars and see if you guys can get out there. It's going to be an awesome show, guys. But anyways, guys, the gig log you guys just watched. I hope you guys enjoyed the wedding gig log. If you did, be sure to slap a like. Leave down in the comment section down below what you guys thought. I want to apologize, guys. It's been a little bit since I've uploaded a little bit, um, a little more than two weeks. I, I really apologize, guys. But uh, the company has been taking a toll on me, as you guys know. Company comes before the videos, unfortunately, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, we just wrapped up a four event weekend, four events on Saturdays, massive homecomings, me doing a wedding. Uh, not to mention, uh, I, I've been DJing every single weekend. We've been double and triple booked uh, as a company. And being the owner of that company uh, takes a lot of stress and strain on you. So I've been taking some days off to just relax and chill and just like sleep. So yeah. Keep the record spinning, guys. I will see you guys in the next gig log or educational video. I got a list of videos to film, guys. So videos coming, DJ show, all that fun stuff, guys. Peace.